Hi, this section is about creating an exam with multiple sections from the question library. The way to get started is to go into your course activities under quizzes. We're going to create a new quiz and I'm going to name this new quiz final exam. There are these uh, description and introduction sections that uh, you can use. They're turned off by default. In some cases, people will put in, for example, the School of Business exam policy, or for an introduction, uh, we'll give them some information about how the exam is going to work. Once I've given the exam a name, I can add or edit questions. In order to add questions to this exam, you see there are two categories, new and import. We've already created questions in our question library. So we're going to browse the question library and import uh, sections from there. So I'm going to import all three sections. And now you can see I have all three sections for my final exam. You can edit the values for the questions. You go into the section. You can reorder them or edit the point values. One or two points, whatever it might be. Now once you've got your exam set up with the sections from the question library, you want to go into restrictions. And restrictions are where you make the exam active once you're ready. It has a start date, so you would set the start date for the time of your exam. And in this case, let's say that the exam is in April. Perhaps, perhaps the exam starts on April the 24th at 2 p.m. That would be your start date. And you can make it active, and the students won't actually see the exam until the start date. You can set the duration. Duration, ti duration is under timing. In this case, 120 minutes, two hours. And a password. I always set a password for my exams because the password you can give students in class and it's another method of protecting students from uh, starting the exam ahead of time or uh, not being in class and uh, getting the password and doing the, the exam from another location. You can enforce the time limit and prevent students from making further changes. What happens is when you prevent students from making further changes or if the time limit expires, the exam will automatically save their answers and, and submit the exam for grading. Under special access, what you do under this section is it will come up with a list of registered students and this is where you put your LOA, students with a letter of accommodation and if they for example have an extra time uh, allowance you can add that time in here and they will have an additional time allowance to write this exam. And once you're finished you will see under the uh, manage quizzes section you have the final exam it's not active right now. You were making it active before the, um, before the exam starts. But you can see there are your multiple choice questions, there are your short answer questions, and there's your essay question. Okay, So that is how to create a final exam uh, in Brightspace. Once you make the exam active and it is at the start time, you give the students the password and they begin the exam. Uh, the exam will be timed for them and they will see the amount of time they have left. You do not need to put up a timer on the overhead. Uh, they will see the time and when the time is up it will automatically submit the exam uh, for them and save their answers. Good luck with creating online quizzes and exams.